this is a resolution. Uh, the city administration still f holds the full discretion of the fine uh, that is their uh, purview. It's been their purview for the last four and a half years. Um, but uh, the resolution, I believe, is important for council so that we do hear uh, what the full story is and that, uh, and that the uh, uh, ratepayer uh, then can have confidence that the right thing is being done here um, as, as the uh, contract uh, not just expires, but the last payment uh, is made. I want to clarify a couple of things because I think part of the resolution has apples and oranges mixed together. Recall they filed for bankruptcy in October. Recall that we made a claim against Argos, the bonding company. And recall that we struck a deal in principle in January and February to provide for transition services. That agreement was ultimately entered into in April as a result of some ongoing discussions and negotiations. No question we were unhappy with Red River's performance. No question we were disappointed with their follow-up and with the number of misses that constituents all had to suffer through. But at the end of the day, we've successfully navigated six months of choppy waters to, I think, a very successful conclusion with a national provider. The accounting for what fines were assessed and how they were assessed, absolutely the city's prepared to provide whatever information council wants. Um, I would caution, however, we are not renegotiating the old deal. We, we can only beat that dead horse so many times, and I think we have. What we're doing is administering a contract that this council unanimously approved, the city entered into, the United States Bankruptcy Court approved it, secured creditors approved it, the dip lender approved it, unsecured creditors approved it, and Red River approved it. The contract is between all of the parties I mentioned above and, and overseen by the United States federal bankruptcy judge who is not terribly inclined to want to renegotiate a contract or reopen old wounds. So uh, to be clear, it's just math. We're simply applying the contract that we entered into to determine the level of fines that will be assessed against Red River to the penny of what is owed, and then ultimately obviously report that out as clearly <laughs> and concisely as we can so that you, and more importantly the members of the public, have the ability to understand the deal that was approved, the deal that was implemented. Um, that all said, I, 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 had con I had spoken with my bankruptcy colleague, Jay Jaffe, who had been here a number of occasions. He sends his best. Sorry he couldn't join you tonight. But uh, he said there were flurries of motions filed in the bankruptcy, which is ongoing while we're off to the sideline. Both Huntsville and Nashville are still in the middle of this mess. It is arm-to-arm -arm combat. What we accomplished with your guidance and support is nothing short of spectacular. We are withholding payments we would otherwise make to Red River with a fine. It, it's not, uh, it's monies we otherwise would have paid had they performed adequately, correct? Mm -hmm. uh, but there is, it, unless we, if we owed them X and we said, you know, we don't feel like paying X because we've thought about it and it's really pretty crummy service, which, which is a, a very logical reaction of many people, that X we would be at risk under the terms of the settlement agreement, there's attorney's fees provision, which says that we would pay the fees of the opposing party to the extent they were successful. We would also um, include the wrath of the bankruptcy judge, and that's not where we want to be. So, correct, we don't want to play hardball, hold money back that we otherwise believe is owed because we're just unhappy with the level of service. We reduce to liquidated damages the offset in fines that we're entitled to under the settlement agreement. <coughs> and there's no opportunity for us to go back and renegotiate those. I mean, I've been, you know, Russ and I have been a pretty much champion in regards to the garbage thing as well as everybody that's sitting here. But, uh, you know, I, I, I've sat with Russ in a couple of press conferences and things like that. And my, my whole aspect is I, I want to support a res this resolution. But because it's a non-binding resolution um, and Russ understands where I'm coming from here, I, I'm planning on abstaining. All right, we've got a first and a second. All those in favor, signify with a sign of aye. 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 All those opposed, signify opposed. with the same sign. We've got one opposed. Any abstentions on, on this? I'm abstaining. And one abstention. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you. Have a good evening.